It's a wonderful day in Sydney Harbour and I am breaking out of my inner west bubble to take the wonderful historic Manly Ferry, go to Four Pines Brewery, drink some beer, eat some food, do the same thing I do like every episode but it's going to be a bit different this time. Let's go. Sorry to interrupt the opening credits, I just wanted to show this. We're on the Freshwater Ferry and this is a park here for my grandpa and uh, my grandma as well who christened the ship. First day it opened, March 27, 1982. That's not related to beer or travel or anything, but I just wanted to show this little part of like Sydney history that my family's a part of. Here's the rest of the credits. Hey friends, Benny back again with another beer review. Today we are in Four Pines in wonderful, beautiful Manly. There's two levels to the brewery. Upstairs seems to be more of the pub section. Downstairs is like more family friendly. And I've got myself this tasting paddle. I ordered four because they got four Kellador releases right now. Yeah. For these four, it costs 17 bucks. <laughs> That's not too bad. First up, the Blueberry Gosa Techi. Oh yeah, bit of sourness, not super sour because it's a Gosa, it's brewed with salty water which is a lovely thing to have when you're this close to the sea. It's definitely fruity, it's not too strong, it's 5% alcohol, but to me it tastes like it would even be lighter. Certainly not the most beery thing in the world. We can see that's a very pink colour, super different colour for a beer, but this one's nice. I definitely give that a 7 out of 10. It's light, it's a bit fruity, and as you can see I've had most of it, you can smash it. Power cleanser. Number two is the ESB, which is the extra special bitter. It is an English style of beer. You might have seen me try ESBs before when we were in England last year. It's a hand pumped one which means that it's carbonated during the pumping, warmer than the other beer. More in that style of English beer is that it's more room temperature. Mm. Well, there's so much flavor in it. There's not as much carbonation in this one, but far out. I mean, it's like a, like a tea that's like been, like been brewed forever, but it has but come out tasting pretty good. Oh man, that is a real sipper. It's not particularly bubbly, a bit of that dark color that you would associate with needing to drink quite a lot of Gatorade. But that is nice, that is really good. I really do like an ESB and I'm happy to see one here. And I think having to take on a British beer in Manly might be a bit of a cheeky hint to some of the people on a visa. I definitely give that. Mm, an 8 out of 10, very nice, maybe a 9. We're gonna go 8 for now. Number 3 is the Imperial Lager. Now you always want a lager by the beach, but this one is meant to be different to the other one. It's 6.3%, almost 2% more than your average lager. Let's have a drink. Techi. Mm. Oh. The alcohol is there to the point where it tastes like there's a nip of vodka in it, sort of beer that you're gonna get at a Bucks party for guys that hate one another. At first it sort of has this boldness that almost like a pale ale, sort of like hoppy and lively, and then it quickly gives way to sort of this really alcoholy, almost sort of ethanol kind of taste or methylated spirits. Unfortunately, it's not a super nice flavor. A little bit of like classic lager flavors on top and then quite a lot of really strong alcohol. I gotta say, probably only give this one like a 5 out of 10. This is one that if you wanted to get absolutely munted and remember nothing, have this, but then I don't know how many of these you could sink down. Probably actually more of a 4 out of 10 unfortunately. Not very balanced. Yeah. Lastly is the Netronomicon Double IPA. I have no idea what that means. Maybe some information can appear on the screen here. Hope that cleared it all up. Let's have a drink to G. So this one is 9.1%. <laughs> this does not taste as strong as the one we just had. It's actually pretty easy going for something that's got two eyes in its name. Think about eyes on beers as being like X's on old barrels on river boats in like the American 1800s. So it's got two eyes on it, it's got a bit of alcohol in it. But you know what? It's pretty light on. A bit fruity, a bit citrusy, mandarinish. Just so much alcohol, the flavour is really just 
chilling out. This is something you could really sink and have a good time with. Almost got a little bit of a creaminess to it, a little bit of carbonation on it. I like it. I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. It's dangerous because I've drunk half of it already. The top brew of the week is the ESB. This one is really nice. It's completely different to the other beers we've got on the paddle today. And it's different to the other great beers that Paul Pines has on tap. And this one's in its whole own category right now and is my favorite Kellador release that we've had here today. But there's still plenty to do. We're gonna pick something to eat. Get another drink and chill out. It's an absolutely lovely day. This is the fried chicken share board. You get your little tortilla, you get your bit of fried chicken. Some of the kick ass sauce. Lemon, pickle, bit of salad. Too easy. That's really tasty, the fried chicken. It's got such a nice crumb on it. They actually use cornflakes in this. This is when you think you couldn't get any better. Chips come to the party. They've got chicken salt on as well. If you don't know what chicken salt is, come to Australia. The drink I've chose to have with it is their in-season IPA. They brew it just over there in their little brew lab. The ingredients change depending on the season they do it. Let's see how it goes, the little bits of fried chicken. Mm, that is so well balanced. That is as balanced as this guy on my shirt. Getting a bit into surfing lately, not a big deal. It's pairing well with the spicy food. There's a lot of flavor in this, there's a bit of alcohol, but they're going together really well. I should point out that these are strips of like, chicken thigh that they're fried and then cut up, so it's not like a piece of like fried chicken you get from KFC. But it's very delicious. The sauce is really nice for the spice. Overall, fun little time at Four Pines today. The fried chicken was really good. The tasting paddle was very nice. Although I didn't love everything in it, I did find so much to enjoy. Just a nice little spot in the sun. You are by a busy road, but the music is good. It is Triple J from the past five years. And it is part of the Northern Beaches culture because it started here. And even though it's been brought out, this whole area, there are big brand names now. Bavarian, Fratelli Fresh, all all sorts of chains and I think Four Pines is probably halfway there but it still has that local story and that's still very present. The staff were amazing, it's family friendly. You can only really recommend this place if you just want to have a lovely time. Four Pines is getting an 8 out of 10. Until next time tell them, Benny sent ya. Bye bye.